have a few words about ink. Um, I mean, what I love about this project is, uh, is, is the per uh, perversity of the research. Uh, because, because it could be argued that we are now, in, in architecture schools, uh, dealing with the first kind of post-ink generation of architects. So what I mean is, of course, there's a lot of ink in architecture, but it's absolutely hidden. So the ink is inside a cartridge, and then the cartridge is put inside the printer. And the moment that the ink makes contact with the paper, it's absolutely uh, concealed. And this is very similar to, to uh, the general fear of liquids, uh, usually sexual fear. Um, and, and so there's a kind of a phobia now in architecture that we should not see the release of the ink to the paper. And even if you say I'm using an inkjet paper, actually people don't really have an image or even a little bit scared of what this jet, jet might be, so, that, so it's all uh, wrapped up. So then, then the, the uh, ink appears uh, not to be ink. Uh, the um, uh, ink is, forms an image. And so uh, even if they have some sophisticated knowledge of which inks, which kind of paper, and which kinds of inks give you the best image, it's read as an image, not read as, as, as ink as such. So maybe it's a, a post-ink generation, so for you to launch the uh, ink investigation is amazing. And it seems to me perfectly natural that of course you go to China to, to liberate this uh, ink research, because of course it's, uh, ink is, is China. In architecture, of course, ink is identified with, with the line. I mean, I would say not just the mark, but the line. That means with precision, with clarification, with specification, with control, with giving instructions, uh, and, and all of this. And it cannot be just any ink. You remember that uh, Le Corbusier uh, was, uh, did not win the League of Nations competition because he used printer's ink rather than China ink. And the rules of the competition said China ink, and he used printed ink. So the French member of the jury Academician fired him using that rule. Uh, and so, of course, uh, uh, printer's ink is very particular. Printer's ink was, uh, was required by the Gutenberg uh, press. You needed another kind of ink. So, of course, uh, printer's ink is machine ink. So, of course, when they reject a machine architect, they are, he's using machine ink, so he has to go out, right? So, this whole thing about and, and, and him being fired from that competition it leads to the formation of CM because there's a decision made that they need an international union of architects to control, to regulate the flow of commissions in architecture and the flow of ideas. So literally you can say that, uh, that the kind of uh, mafia of the modern architecture is premised on, on ink, on, on a certain gesture of ink. 